I love living in Israel because even though I came here by myself, I feel so welcome and at home here. Uh, for example, there's this little coffee shop in Petah Tikva where I just feel so loved and welcome and just belonging there. Mainly because I get to see my family a lot. I see my sisters all the time and I see my, um, my parents most, uh, I mean, once a week would be the minimum. Besides, the weather is great, despite July and August maybe, but all the other months was, uh, are amazing. I love living in Israel because this is my home and it's where I feel like I can achieve all of my goals. And also it's the place that I feel the most safe in. Every time I go to somewhere else, I feel like I need to hide my identity in some kind of way, my Jewish identity or my Israeli identity. And whenever I'm at Israel, I feel the safest. And uh, also I love the food. I love like knafe and... <laughs> Back when I was living in Seattle, reading the news and about Israel, I definitely felt it was scary to live here. But now that I'm here and living here in my day-to-day -day life, I see that it's normal just like anywhere else. Except, of course, there are certain situations, like the last operation, where me as a regular civilian felt like my safety in just a blink of an eye was gone, which is something I'm totally not used to. So in the light of last week's or last month's events, yeah, it could be scary. Overall, there is no issue. I, I love being here. Israel is peaceful. We don't have that on a daily basis. Uh, however, when this happens, yeah, it is causing distress. I knew I had one minute and a half to get to safety with my, my kid. I had to wake him up, run with him to the, to the staircase. I'm not afraid living in Israel. I, I live at the West Bank and we have Jewish settlements and Palestinian settlements right next to each other and we have daily basis encounters with them and I'm not scared at all. There are specific times when I know that I need to be more careful, but most of the time it feels like normal. It's not, I'm not scared. And I would never leave because I feel like anti-Semitism is much more scary than sometimes to know to be a, a bit more careful. I felt very frightened at first. I didn't expect something like this to happen while I was in Israel. The nights were really, really hard. It was always anticipating another missile to come and having to run to the shelter, which was also a very distressing uh, experience. And in the shelter, hearing the booms above, above us was very, very hard. And there was even a missile that was really near my house. And it just made me realize how close to home this is. Running to the bomb shelter, it's one thing. But uh, looking after that, that we're the attacker, we're the unhumane, when the people who are distributing these messages are very uninformed, that breaks my heart. Uh, that's a situation that we have to live with and we need to fight it. This is what we're doing now. It was very scary. I was scared for my friends and family and it's not a usual situation. It's not something that I'm used to. It's not like part of my military service or something like that. It's really just my normal life that in one day just get like operation, military operation, like really uh, at the middle of my day-to-day -day life. So it was very hard. I definitely think that in time there can be peace here. I do think that the situation is very complicated right now. And, um, but I do believe that from my time living here that a ma the majority of people here do simply want to live their lives together in peace and just be able not to fear for their lives. There's no reason why not to, to have peace with them. If you had it with the Emirates, with Bahrain, with Sudan, with Morocco, there's no reason why not to live with them. I know that there is a solution and myself and the people in the Jewish settlements and the Palestinian settlements, we actually live this solution. We live in peace on a daily basis so I want it to be in all of Israel and for everyone and I know that it, it is possible.